Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little stuffy, it's because I'm catching a cold. It's getting cold in New York. And you know, I hate the heat and I could not wait for the fall. But this fall, it feels a little too cold for me. But I'll take it. I'll take it over the heat. That's how much I hate the heat i hate sweating but enough of that over here we get straight to the point you feel me <laughs> okay so diddy's court hearing was today and the judge set a trial date for may 5th 2025 you see diddy's lawyers have said they want to go to trial quickly since he was twice denied bail well today he was denied bail for the third time so Diddy thought he would be getting bail, he would spend time at home while he awaits trial. Well, that's not happening. He doesn't want to rot in jail while waiting for years and years for a trial. That's why they want a quick one. So 5-5-2025 five, five, it is. So Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, arrived at the courthouse looking like a straight up hooker. Did you see her? She loves blonde wigs. She had on this curly blonde wig. She had on this leopard print jacket and these heels looking like a straight up hooker. You cannot tell me that Janice was not recruiting a lot of girls for Diddy. She looked like a straight up madame, a freaking hooker. Anyway, she was joined by his kids, sons, Justin and Christian Combs, and daughters, Jesse, Delilah, and Chance Combs. Diddy, who has pleaded not guilty, was present in the courtroom, as were several of his family members. Diddy's ankles were shackled, and he was wearing a loose-fitting tan button-down shirt and khaki pants. He smiled widely to his family as he was led into the courtroom by a U.S. Marshal, taking a moment to wave toward them, sitting in the second row. Prosecutor Emily Johnson said the prosecution anticipates its case could last three weeks, but added that a superseding indictment could affect the length of trial, meaning additional charges or defendants could be added to the case. Diddy's lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, said they will put on a defense case that would likely take one week. Judge Aaron or Aaron Subramanian also said he will issue an order bearing both sides from making statements about secret grand jury material and other non-public evidence in the case. He asked Diddy's lawyers to draft a proposal. The order comes after Diddy's attorneys on Wednesday filed a motion accusing the government of leaking a video of Diddy beating his former girlfriend to CNN. They did not provide evidence for their claims. Hours later, Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, wrote to the judge that the government was not in possession of the video before its publication by CNN. So there is no factual basis for Diddy's attorney's assertion. Diddy's lawyer's motion on Wednesday further asked the judge to consider bearing the footage from trial. Oh no, oh heck no. That video is crucial. It is very important. So U.S. Attorney Damian Williams on Thursday called the motion a mean to try to exclude a damning piece of evidence. The judge said he would make a decision about a potential hearing regarding the alleged media leaks after reading the legal documents. Guys, listen to this. Homeland Security agents said they seized nine electronic devices from the airport during a raid in March. 
36 devices were seized from the Star Island house in Miami. 29 have been extracted and 17 will be produced in their next production. 51 devices seized and 27 will be produced in their next production. Also, Diddy's phone from the arrest in September was seized. Data has been extracted from 29 devices in Los Angeles. There were 96 devices, you guys, 96 devices seized in March from Los Angeles, Miami, and his person at a private airport in Florida. The feds told the judge that they are extracting material over the next 30 days and that it takes time to extract data from other devices and that they gave one terabyte a device that they asked for. The feds say they collected terabytes of e-data during their searches of Diddy's homes in Miami, Los Angeles, and New York over the last several months, and they're still sifting through it all. Diddy will next appear in court on December 18th. Wow, they have terabytes of e-data. That's a lot. One terabyte is half a million photos. Two terabytes is like 40 hours of footage. So Diddy is rushing for a quick trial, knowing that discovery can take two months or more. And the Fed says there will be more people indicted and more stuff that they have to extract. So discovery can take way more than two months. Whew, that's a lot of work for the feds, but they're on it. Wow. I can't wait to see who else is indicted because there are some big names, okay? And I don't think Diddy is going to make it to trial. And if he makes it to trial, he's not going to name anyone. He's not going to. I just don't see it. He's not going to name names. I think he's going to try to manipulate the jurors because people like Diddy, all their life, they manipulate people. So they feel like they are a pro at it and they think they could manipulate everyone just about. So that's what, because why else would he want to take the stand? Why would he want to take uh, testify? That's, that's not good. So, so he really feel like he could manipulate the people, the jurors, and the judge. He's going to put on a show. That's what people like him. That's what they do. Because he's been doing it for too many people for years. So he's like a pro. But again, not everyone can be manipulated or will fall for his manipulation. Okay, so... It's going to be a show, and it's crazy. I don't understand why there are no cameras in federal cases. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. But whatever. You guys, so, yeah, so these are the facts about Diddy's hearing today, Thursday, October 10th, 2024. So that's all, you guys. Don't forget to like, leave comments, and subscribe. Thanks for the support, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.